you can, you really can have like fun with it. Oh my God, I have a little ding right there. That's not a good way to film this. You're like, what do you know? Hey guys, what's up? I'm Anjali. I'm going to be actually doing like a cool, like, not, I don't know how cool it is. I'm not like Bill Nye the Science Guy, but I'm going to be doing a tutorial for you today that's um, on this look. It is a zero eye makeup look. I have eye eczema, and I know a lot of people have sensitive skin on their eyes. It technically is the most sensitive skin on your face. It is the thinnest skin, and it's very easily irritated. We do tons of shit to it when we put on liner, lashes, eyeshadow, like all the crap. We do glitter, and then, oh my gosh, when we remove it, that's also just like so much tax on your eye skin. So I like to put together looks every once in a while, every few weeks. It just gives my eyes a break. I think it turned out really great. I think I look dope. If you want to see how I did this look, uh, keep watching. I will. Sh I will show you. I will. I will. I will. I will tell you the secret. I will make it happen. Keep watching. Like, subscribe, do it to it. Remember that song? Do it to it. Do it to it. You know. You know that song. The video. Ah. Oh. Starting out with a little bit of this kind of like strobe cream like stuff, like NYX makes one, Maybelline makes one, I know. Um, this one is like a European thing I picked up in like a French drugstore. I've been to France. So next I'm gonna go in with my correctors and concealers. So I am gonna put concealer and like stuff on my under eyes cause I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a still a human. I use this kind of like peachy toned NYX uh, HD concealer, corners of my mouth. I actually have like a little bit of like that blueness right there. We gon' blend. I'm also gonna spot conceal a little bit. This is the Makeup Forever Full Cover HD or whatever concealer. It's super high coverage, especially when it, you let it be a little tacky. I like to put on these like spot concealers and color correctors and stuff before I put on my foundation because it ends up becoming a lot more seamless of a blend. You're putting all that, you know, because not all those tones are the same color. And so when you're putting on those tones, you definitely want it to be even at the end of the at the end of everything. So if you're gonna put on a concealer, I know this concealer sometimes can oxidize a little bit, and so just a little. And so I don't want that splotchiness to show up on top of my foundation, which is like made my skin like a blank slate. Same with the concealer, like this orange concealer, man. It's orange. Scar City. I let it dry a little bit like my girl Jackie. I'm not taught me. Okay, foundation. I'm going with Maybelline Matte, the Fit Me Matte and Poreless. This is my Morphe M439 brush. 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 It's like the new like name for boys that's gonna come out. What's up? My name is Brush. Yeah, I'm a coder. It's the kind of guy that steals your girl and he doesn't even know how he did it. Or at least that's what he says. But he knows. They always know. I'm gonna go in with my Shape Tape Concealer. And I'm gonna do like three big streaks on the side of my face. Center my nose right there. Tiny dab on the chin because I don't like a huge highlighted chin. No, two stripes right there. This is in the color medium. I found that the one lighter than this, which was medium light honey, it just drowned me out in a weird way that I did not like. Coverage is in the building. It's gonna look good. It looks like glossy. All right, I'm gonna set my face with BH Studio Matte Powder. Big fluffy brush. I'm gonna dust my face. That. I'm gonna do a powder contour. Because I don't wanna look too severe. I'm just going to work. Save your cream contour for the gala. And then I'm gonna just dab one more time. Because we don't want no streaks locked into place with our 
our thingy-mabobber, our setting powder. I'm using the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I really love this powder. It's so good. It's so good at like brightening up your under eyes. It's really, really fine. It's never heavy. And it's just like the perfect barrier. My, my, my face feels like, like marble. Like, like so silky, smooth, like, like polished. And like, like staircases of it. I'm gonna like perk up my, my skin under there so it's like taut. Okay. Good to go. I'm gonna take my 9C palette from Morphe to contour. I'm gonna be going in with bloop, this shade, and I always mix it with this shade. And I just like make a cute little line. And then when I go in with bronzer, I kind of like buff it all in together so even that is seamless. And you really wanna be light on this one especially because the brush is dense because we're trying to pack on pigment but you don't want to lift any of the powder or the foundation. I also have acne scarring there so it's really easy for it to look patchy so you want to be careful. I'm gonna take, I actually use like a very big fluffy shader brush to do my nose contour. I take that lighter shade in here, just tap it a couple times on one side and then I go in on either side of the nose, just like a couple of swipes. It's a very, very light touch, but it makes a lot of difference, I find. I can take a bit of excess and put it on the butt. And then you can kind of drag it up then up the top. Cute! Now we bronze. All right, I'm gonna take my NYX Matte Bronzer in Dark Tan. Kind of a warmer shade but i only pick up a little bit on an angled fluffy brush and i'm still very light i'm not putting a lot of pressure i really want to engage the fluffiness of the brush not the pressure of the brush and this is why i don't do my eyebrows yet and you know what on the sides of my nose i'm going to just take the excess and just brush along the sides of my nose to blend it in i'm taking the la girl shady slim brow pencil in blackest brown First, I'm gonna go in with the spoolie side and really comb it out, especially I have very long brow hair, so I, make, I wanna set myself up for success because they'll move all over the place as I'm trying to move the product through them. And then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna start on the bottom and really outline where I want the bottom of the brow to be. And then I'm gonna trace it up. I'm going to go to the top and really now I've like kind of outlined for myself how the brows gonna look yeah oh yeah then I'm gonna take my NYX precision brow pencil which is one of their newer ones that they have it's the one that looks like it's gonna stab you it's like a fatter flat one and this is actually in a warmer shade I'm gonna move that through the body of my brows Oh, and if anybody wanted to know how to clean their spoolie, I actually just dip it into micellar water and then I like towel it off. Cause you know some shit gets up in your spoolie. And when this brow never wants to be as good as that brow, so. All right, I'm gonna take some eyebrow gel so I can keep them in place. This is the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Now I'm gonna go in with blush. I'm gonna take MAC. This is breezy. I don't know that they make this color anymore. It's all broken. It smells fine. I'm gonna keep using it. I'm testing out this new blush brush as well and I don't know if I like it. It might be just like a little too dense but it's the Y5 from Morphe. It's just like denser so it like kind of just like packs color on so you almost have to like be careful about how, how you even put it on your brush. But we're going for blush today so you know what? Focus it on the apples of the cheeks. Right hand too, we don't want to strip away anything. And this is the part where I would usually do my eyes, but oh my god, I'm not going to. Okay, what I am gonna do is like just like kind of like lightly go my fingers over my eyelashes because I don't want there to be any like white powder on them. That just ends up looking weird. I suppose if you were just really worried about the skin on your eyes, you could just like run mascara through them. 
I don't want to do that. I, I also like, you know, it's so hard for me to remove mascara. I just don't want to deal. I want to really let them breathe today. Um, but I would brush out any like lines that you have near your eyes or anything like that. I'm going to keep it classic. I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild. I'm going to go in, I'm going to keep it classic. I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. This is Precious Petals, The Fabled. I like it because it has like this like gold peach glow to it that I really love. And it's never like, some highlighters like build themselves up on themselves. This I feel like goes on super evenly. I'm gonna go down the center of the nose. I'm gonna, I never do this, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take a little dot on my finger and just like dot it on the tip of my nose right there. Boop. And then I'll brush it out because it looks crazy. And then I'm gonna take whatever excess I have on my brush and I'm gonna rub it on the temples of my forehead because we glowing today, girl. We glowing. Oh god, that looks nice. A little bit on the chin, just in the center. And then I suppose if you wanted, you could do inner corner glow. I have this product that I just love. This is the Anastasia Brow Duality. This is so broken, you can't even take it but the co one of the corners has a golden color and I'm gonna just like concentrate it on the inner corner out here. And it just has this really great, it's very quick. It's quick and nice and it has a nice, that didn't go well. Take two. And you can bring it in almost near the bridge of your nose too if you want an extra pop. That way when people turn and look at you, it's a little bit like, damn. Damn. So last but not least, we're gonna do um, a lip. I'm gonna take the Tom Ford Matte Lipstick in Dylan. It's a mini, I have a mini of it. It's such good lipstick, oh my God. I feel like this always looks like I have a little mustache on. Yeah. Ooh, girl, yes. Okay, so this is my full face with no eye makeup. I try and do this like once every few weeks just because it can be really like a lot on your eyes. You're putting so much crap on them. It is very sensitive skin. I, I have eye eczema that gets inflamed because of whatever wear and tear. Sometimes it's because of makeup. Sometimes it's just like, hey, we hate you today. Usually it flares up like starting around October, November because of the change of season and because it starts to get drier. I also have like chronic tearing and so like the skin around the corners of my eyes gets super inflamed. And so whenever that happens, I'm just like, yo, let's take a time out. I've got so much other real estate on my face. We can make it work. And, and yeah, I think it looks so good. If you found this useful, cause every girl should find this useful. We're not mannequins every single day. I'm just a normal girl. I live in New York, there's construction outside. I go to work, even though I wanna treat it like one, every day is not a runway. And so some days you just kinda, kinda gotta take it down and, and, and be kind to your own skin. I hope you liked this video. I hope you found it helpful. Let me know if you had any questions, other alternatives, anything like that. Uh, if you like the video, like it. If you want to see more videos, subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching me, I guess. Again, check out other videos I've made. They're good too. <laughs>